Um, we are going to be working on um, developing user interface today. So, and also we are going to be able to navigate from one screen to another, just like I said in the group chat. So if you look at the design here, this is a design here. So this is an Andima um, design, UI design. So we are going to be building something this, and then we are going to be building this today. So <coughs> this is, uh, of course, this is a registration form here, and then this is a sign-in form, just like you have on your app. I mean, when whenever you download a new app, and then you'll be asked to sign in, and also this is a splash page. So for this splash page, we are not, I'm not going to be showing us splash page now, but we are only going to be designing this and then in our next class, we are going to be looking at authentications, which we are going to be seeing splash page. So but for now, this is what we want to design today. <coughs> so for instance, if you look at this screen here, <coughs> you will notice that this um the old thing that is here these widgets here i mean when it comes to flutter they are widgets so they are all aligned inside of a column so vertically so and then we have a test widget we have another test widget then we have a test field so this is a test field this is another test field here and then we have a role which takes in um this uh, takes in a checkbox test and also a test here and then we have a button which says login and then we have a sign up button here and also and this also this is a divider there's a divider here this is another divider and then the test and then we have this this is inside of a role so once you you are able to analyze um, what's done on the screen here from the design then you should you'll be able to have a clear understanding of what you want to build on Flutter flow so um, I believe everyone can hear me so and then you are seeing my screen if you are not, please just raise up your hand that I should get a notification and then I will show you. So now I already did something like that here, but so I'm going to create a new page here. So let's create a new page. So and then I'm going to call this page login to login page so it should be in capital letter whenever you are creating login i mean login page two so it's going to be a blank blank page and then you create it now this is the page here so like i said if you look at the design well yeah we don't have an app bar so this you can remove this so and of course every if you look at the widget tree every scaffold has a column which is what you are seeing here so <coughs> now if we are going to now inside of the scaffold you see what they call safe area safe area simply means whenever you're on a device if you're on the phone so for instance let me show you how it works so I'm going to drag a test widget here command F so now this test is going to be at the top here so and then I'm going to just try and duplicate this word so so that it's going to be more then you can see it now this is test now if I preview this device So, uh, okay, actually this is, is not really showing more like a real device. Normally, if on a real device is going to overflow, it's going to get to this part of the screen. So it's more like if you look at this part in the design, so of course you are not designing this part. So this is just the phone, phone uh, automatically this is going to be there. So it's going to get to this part and then uh, it's going to be like there's going to be an overflow at the top here so if you know if you are not using a safe area so for instance i think safe area is actually enabled yeah okay yeah exactly safe area is enabled here and that is why you can see this uh, i mean it's not getting close to this edge it's not uh, the test is not going to this edge but if i remove the safe area let me off this safe area and then preview 
review it once again. So exactly now you see what I'm talking about here. So it's going to get to this part and then it's going to end all of this this ones that are here. So that's the essence of using safe area. Safe area is only being used. I mean you can use safe area whenever you are not using an app bar. So an app bar like I, I mean the first thing that you saw on the screen, let's say if I should add an app bar to this page. So there's an app bar stuff here. So now if you have something like this, you don't need a safe area. So I mean you don't need it's not compulsory that you enable safe area in this part because an app bar will occupy the whole. So and then the phone stuff is going to phone bar, notification bar, all of those things are also there. So for instance, for now in our design you can see you will notice that there's no app bar here. So this is just pure colon that is inside. So we can remove this and then uh, can remove this and then enable safe area instead of our uh, scaffold so it's whenever we put it it's not going to get to the edge of the screen so now if you look at everything that are here i mean i'm just going to drag everything that i needed inside of the column so the first thing i okay i know i already have a test here so i already have a test now this column is not stretched so i can i'll make it stretch then also i notice that the main axis i mean the edge i mean there's a padding on the left side and the right side and this is which is 20 so it also implies to this so i'm going to part the inside of um colon with le both left and right to be 20. 20 and then this is going to be 20. so now then i can drag the rest of my test inside the rest of the widget so this is a test widget another test widget so i can duplicate this uh, this is a test so this is two and then i have a test field inside there so i can then i can search for test field now this is a test field so what test field does is it helps you to collect uh, information like to it helps you to enter data so more like when you're entering a form so it collects so you click on it and then you enter your test so that's what test field is for so we have two test field here so i'm just going to leave this one then so um so we have another we have a colon so if i should search for colon i mean roll rather and then we have a test a check box and then a test inside so then we have check box this is the check box so inside of this we have the tests is a uh, test widgets inside so which are going to be two test widgets i'll be clicking at this so and then we have a button so we can search for button so this is the button here and then we have another role here so because we need to test it so because because we have if you can see this is different from this test so to achieve this kind of thing we use we can put it inside of the role so i can just duplicate this drag it down to this side remove this so so this also i'm going to leave this for now so then just work on this first so now here i notice the eye if i should check the properties here so um for those that doesn't understand coding so if i click anyway so because this is developers mode so if i should enable normal mode so you see this this is figma so if you see you will see the, the size of the fonts So 22 so this is it here 
So and you can enable developer as well, which is it here. Yeah. So you can easily see this if you see size, you see 22, so that's 22, and then it's the font width is medium. So, so I'll start the first test now. Before, okay, here, yeah, let me just start the first test. So, first of all, I'll copy the test. So, this is the test here, yeah. and I'll paste it. That's it. Then change the font size to be 22. And then the font width <coughs> is going to be medium, just like we are here. So now it's going to be centered in the middle. So and then I have another one here, which is another test here. So I can copy this, then paste this piece out of the second test here. Now this. Of course, now if you look at this, this is there is, is I mean, after this being there is, I mean, it's broken and then it's at the second line. So, what I can do is I can just come to this bean, I think, here, yeah, this bean here, yeah, and then just click type, I mean, just hit the enter button, return button on your keyboard, and then it's going to be on the next line. So, and then we can put them I mean align them in the middle so which is going to be exactly this you can see so now now that we have that now the sec next, next thing for us to do is the test field now if you look at this test field we have there is a background inside of the test field and then there is a sharp I mean if you if you so zoom in now you see there is the edges there is there, there's a border radius so now for me to do this number one is now this test field this is just in line and uh, if you look at the properties here if you scroll down and check the properties of the test field these are the properties now the input decoration of this test field is on the line type of test field so if you want to make something like this this is going to be another type which is going to be outline now if i click over through you can see it's looking like something like this so now this is having so for me to achieve this kind of thing then i will change the properties also also there's a power pass is very called focal i mean this is the border color this is focus this is when you click on it and then the border is going to change so which is the focus border color the error when a user enters an invalid value so you of course you would have, you must have seen that in a um, different kind of app when you enter an invalid value then the uh, border color is going to change to red now this is the border width now but what we want to do is we are not checking the border but the fill color now this is the fill if you look at this it's off here so if you own it then you will be able to see fill color now the fill color that we need to use here is going to be this color the color that is inside of this thing here so i believe it should be this so if i copy this color here then I come to this side, then I can paste it here. So then I use the color. Now, if I over through this, of course, you are not going to see much effect now. So I will remove the border, the border width here. So, and then over through this, so we are still getting close to it. So, and uh, also the border radius, if you, the code here, okay, of course this is the, uh, okay, the border, the corner radius here is 20, so if you see, you see 20, 12, right, right, right I mean 12, so if you go to the border radius, So this is the border radius here. So I'll make it 12. And then also the border color. I'm not going to give it any color. I'm going to clear the color. So now let's see. Now it's getting I mean okay. Now you won't be able to see this very well because of the background itself. So if I'm going to check this background here. So this is more like this is still I need to 
I need to. Let me go back to the fuel color. And then. So let me. Let me use another color. So I'm going to. So that we can see an effect. We can see effect on the screen. So let me use this. I see. So at least you can see this is the color. I mean, this is okay. This is still so that we can see the changes. But let me reduce a little bit again. Let me use the opacity. So I think this is okay. This is better. Now, which is similar to what we have here. Need to know if people are okay. So now the leading uh, which is uh, if I copy this then the int test of course this is going to be an int test so you check the properties here so what is here we call this in link int test so initial value not initial values so but the label test so we can have the label test too so and then we have int properties so this is the int test which is here so which is enter email now you notice that there is this uh label of course we are not we didn't add any label so we of course they didn't add label on their own here so we leave it this way then it has an icon here so this is prefix i think so if you check inside the properties too you should see where you can add an icon so I scroll down properties icon okay this is the icon properties so the leading I think this is going to be trailing because it's going to be here so the icon is mail if you search search for mail so and then the kind of mail that is there is outline so yeah so of course it's not the same thing because this is a custom icon so now we are going to use this now this is the mail so now this is our test features for now again if you look at the properties because we are only going to be taking email in, on this form field here this test field so now if you look at additional properties here now this is not a password field so and then also focus means whenever a user lands on the screen it will automatically focus on this so meaning that it will just bring you up your keyboard and I mean, once it once you land on the screen, so just your keyboard is going to be off and then ready to type in. That's what it is. So you can remove this auto focus and you can add it based on your choice. Now auto complete that's for completing test. Auto fill in that's also for completing test too. So now if you look at the keyboard type, this is our type test. But what we want to collect here in is is an email address. So if you look at it, this is email. So you set it to be email, and then this is masked in case you. Are, Operating, I mean, if you if you need for phone, you want to collect phone numbers and all. So this is what that marks for. Then to filter, so if you want to filter alphabets or digits or anything, you want to filter them out. So that's what all of this for. Capitalization also too. So now we have, um, we have for email. Now we need to do for password. So I will duplicate this here. Now if I duplicate this, so I need to change the trailing icon. So if you go to the icon properties, this is going to be I uh, icon properties. Yeah. So this is going to be an I I icon. So if I look at this one. Okay. So let me use this. 
Um, there's always an issue with what awesome icon. Okay, let me see 24. Now it's been up. Let me use another one from. So, okay, this is better. Now we have an icon here for this. So, um, then the next thing that we need to do here is. So this we are going to mark this as a password field. So if we go to these additional properties, it sets it as password field. So now the toggle icon, of course, okay, we okay for password field. In, now there is uh, of course there's properties to show uh, to show password and then to hide password. So which is automatically in Flutter flow. So so if you are going to do that, I mean. So this is password field, then the icon. So let me say 24. So the icon is going to show itself. So without even setting it. So when I, I mean, the other time I set it, I mean, they deleted the ones because we now enable the password field. Then this is one that is coming from Flutter for itself. So now I've set the icon size. So the color, we can leave the color to be the same thing. So if I should copy the word in there. Then I go to the int test because we set it on int. So label not label for int. So if I should paste it now. So we have a password test field. Now the next thing is to have this yeah. We have this test. Remember me. If you paste this here. And then we have this also, which is And then we can put that here. Oh. So now this has a blue color. So uh, I think it has this type of color. So if I should copy this color here and then come to this test, test to the test widget here. And then I go to the color. Now this is the color. So then I can paste the color that I copied and paste it here and use the color. So now it's having the color. Then you can align this test to. Of course, this is not going to work. So now I need to put this test right to this side, and this should be other side. So what I need to do is because I can't, I can't, I don't want to use padding, and if I should use padding, this is not going to be. It's not. It's not ideal for. I mean, to be using padding to space something. Um. I mean, in, in a situation like this, due to whenever you come to, I mean, if you are, if you load the app on another phone, I mean, your phone that is smaller, in smaller size, then there's going to be an overflow. So to avoid all of these things, so what you can do is, what we can do here is, we can wrap this test here inside another column, another row rather, then we can drag this inside here. So this test and this, they are inside of the same role. So if you look at them, this is it. They are inside of the same role. Now the role itself that is holding all both of them. So then I can decide to change the main axis alignment to the space between. So now you can see. So we are able to space this from this. Now this, yeah, this checkbox color should also be the color that we used recently. This is this color. Now I think so. This is looking like we have here so now the button if you look at the button the button height is if you check through alignments top so although if i if i click on it on this part then i should see the height here so which is the height is 45 so if i go to the button here so the height is 45 so and then the color is of this color and I use this then also the border radius is the border radius corner radius to is 12 so if I come to this side and I should see the border radius this is it here so and then put 12 now similar to this then all I need to do is copy this test login so that's it now the next thing here is this also so I can do similar thing that I did here so by using a colon because I need to specify this part I need to color this part of the test so 
now already is inside of a colon so now let me copy the test here and then copy this one so then I can change the color of this test to be the color that we used before now then I can align I can give this a little padding because there's a space a little padding of about 10 so I think let me give it 5 it's 5 so it's 5 so then the column I'm going to give it center so it's going to be in the center now we're having this so now the next thing for me to do aside this for now I'm going to make them look exactly the same way like this so what I need to do is I can put all of them inside of the column itself this column I can make it to be center the main axis element should be in center so it's going to take all of the children and put them in center so if I put them this way you can see it's inside of the center so now the next thing for me to do here is because I'm still going to add all of this one so whenever I'm adding them it's going to take space and then it's going to be shifting them up so now for this there is a space between this and this is 16 padding so if i put my padding and i give it 16 here on this test here and now this test this test here between this test and here is 70 let's just say 80 padding so if i give this i'm going to give it 80 now you are seeing this so and then now this one here the padding between this test field and this test field is 24 so now if I click on this test field here and I'm going to give it 24 so now this one too there's a little padding at the bottom here I think we don't need to put padding here because it's still this test is well, let me just give it padding of 5 oh no it should be at the top or oh, oh, use this let me just give it 10 so now the padding between this here this column and this is 40 so i'm going to give padding to this to be 40 so now the padding between this there's this um button and and this should be 10 so let me just give this one a padding of 10 no okay should be this button here so this is going to be 10. now i think we're having similar it's getting similar to what we have here so now the next thing for us to do is to have this now so after this what i can do here is that because this is going to be kind of tricky so because now a divider can only be inside of a col a column so and then we have a divider here we have another div we have a divider here we have another divider here and then we have a test here so for me to achieve this um i can do okay what i'm going to do is i, I will use a column so a row so let me let me add a row inside of this place now then i'll add a container here and then i'll add a test here so then so inside of this 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 uh, container is what i'm going to use as a divider although there's a divider but for me to do this uh if, if you check here and search for divider you'll see this is a divider so divider can only act inside of a colon i mean you can be able to see see as you can see there's a slight uh, white uh, divider here so but you can't put a divider inside of a row it's not going to work just as you see so except you want to use a vertical divider which is going to be inside of because inside of a column inside of a row rather so now this divider so i'm going to do this, this divider here so now i'm going to make my own divider with a column i mean with a container so to do that what i can do is what i can do to this is to change the um the container this container to give it a height of a height of 
one the width should be in percentage so i'm going to make it to be um 35 percent of the screen all let me say give it 30 25 percent 25 percent of the screen there then the color i'm going to give it this kind of co this color here so if i should over through you can see a slight color here a slight line here so let me increase the now i'm going to what i can do again is to receive i mean to, the thickness so i can um the border width so let me give it two ah it's too much so okay so let me instead of giving it border width instead i'm just going to let me just or if i give you one it's too too much it's showing for so if i'm giving it border width then okay so let me just remove this border with and just uh let me give it this color here so we can, should be able to, now we can see the line here so now the next thing i will duplicate this um, container then i'm going to bring it to the next one after this now you can see that it's here then i'll take the roll the roll itself then i'm going to give it alignments of space between space evenly space evenly now you can see there's a space evenly here so then i can change my test here to what it is here so i'm going to click on the test now this is it so there's a space between now you can see it's of course it's looking similar to this so now for me to now apply we have the spacing between here is 104 which is too much so i'm just going to give it a little space you know as much as well uh, let me give it uh, 50. pause any 15 minutes okay so now 15 is okay for this so now the next thing i need to do is to have this here so now i'll drag a column a, a row rather again then a container inside of this place then i'm just going to make this container to be circle part circle and then just give this to be 50 or yeah i think 50 is enough so 50 then i can just instead of adding because of course well let me let me import let me export this and important inside so you see so this is an iphone so i can export as every svg use this also export it as svg so now i can add an image inside of this i don't want to use uh, okay so now that i have an image then so the image i'm going to upload the image. it's not going to be a network image but a, an asset image and then upload the image so this file that i just downloaded so which is what's the we have group which is group that's it this is it. so you can see that it's sitting inside of the uh, circular um, container so i think this is okay so i'm just going to duplicate this itself so i just duplicate this and then align them to be in the middle so and then give a padding of 10 yeah Actually, this is the image of giving padding. Should be, should be the container. So this is going to be ten. Then I'll space. Okay, this and this are 
Okay, then let's do part one of our pen. Oh, let me say ten. So now we have this. So now, if you look at this, I think we've achieved what we want here. So if you look at it now, so I mean you can change this icon to. I just left it because the time is already going. So we can change it. I change the icon later to what you want. I mean to what it is here. So now, if you look at it, we are having. Of course this is looking like this so now the next thing is real quick i'm going to create a login a sign up form sign up page so let me create a sign up page now sign up page so it's going to be a blank screen so now if you look at the button here so this is of course this is the one i've done before so now this this is the sign up page this is the login page too that i did now so now this because if you don't have an account you'll be asked to of course to sign up so to click to make this button to make this a clickable button uh, that of course we want to navigate to the sign up page that we just created now this is where you have now this is of course now this is just you guys are just being introduced to this uh, actions so whenever you need to perform an action this is where you can you click on this play, this action button this action here and then you can open it or you can just add an action from here but let me open it and then you see what it is now we have an on tap we are on double tap on long press tap so what we need here is an on tap so if you need to use a double tap you click here if you need to use a long tap you click here so what we need is a, an on tap so if you add an on tap now now we need to navigate to sign up page now you see the actions there are a lot of actions that you can do here you can use so now we need to navigate to which page you want to navigate to the sign up page that we created so and then to allow navigation back of course whenever you click back on your mobile phone that's what it means it will go back to the initial screen that you were so now that's the actions that we added so whenever i click on this place it's going to navigate to the sign up page this is whenever you click on login let's say you enter a test i, I mean you enter your details and you need to log in so this is going to work i mean I'm, we are going to look at this when we connect to firebase i mean we are doing dealing with authentication but now let me preview this screen so that you see what we've done So now can you see this is the screen that we did here so if i tap here so you can see now i, I told you what um uh, focus um, um focus field means is when you click on inside inside of the button the border will change so now you can enter your test inside of this and then also if it's password this is going to make it like password and if you click here it's going to show the password and then if you sign up here this is going to can you see so now this is the sign up page that we created so if you drag it back this is an icon of course you're going to come to this screen so this is how you lay out a sign up i mean your widget i mean your screen lay out your widgets on the screen to develop um, a sign up page so uh, we are going to be stopping here so i want i'll be sending this picture of i mean this picture design this this one here i'll be sending it to the group and also I'll be sending this also to the, to the group so i want you guys to work on this work on this and also work on this and i'll be calling people randomly to check what they've done in our next class so um let me end the class now